Hey, what's up guys, I'm Deepya and in this video, I'm going to share my interview experience with Larsen and Turo. So basically, they were hiring ReactJS developers with three plus of years of experience for their product engineering team. Uh, so I applied for this designation for, uh, with a referral from my friend and they called within within two weeks. And they so basically, there was three sets of rounds, basically. So the first round was the technical round. The second one is a techno managerial round and third one is an HR round. So for the technical round, it was set up for one hour and there were two panelists. Techno managerial round as usual, it's one hour and one panelist and HR round was of like 10 to 15 minutes, depend on, depending on how your conversation goes with the HR itself. So I'll be sharing my technical questions. Uh, that's why I'm making this video. So as I said, there were two technical panelists. So this right off started with basic HTML. The first question they asked was like, what are semantic HTMLs, like semantic tags in an HTML and how does it help? Okay. And after that, uh, tell me some HTML5 tags. So after that, what is the difference between async and defer in scripts? So whenever you load JavaScript or any script, okay, uh, within the HTML file, so you will put it inside the script tag and you can use, there'll be two options you can use. You can either use async and defer on those so what are those like what is the basic difference between those the interview was asking me third one was was like why do we use meta tags in a website okay the fourth one was like can you tell me the whole http request life cycle so it, it is basically the http request life cycle is basically how how basically your browser fetch let's say once you go to google.com and click up click enter so after you click enter what does happen the whole life cycle you need to explain that your request goes to the server server finds the content there finds the html css like for their respective uh, like unit or the browser request and they serve it to the back to the browser browser passes it and there is a whole life cycle within that so this is called an http request life cycle you can search it up on google it's widely popular the fifth one is like explain CSS box model, CSS specificity, CSS sprite, flexbox, and there were some like basic question on CSS as well. The sixth one is like writing on JavaScript. It's like, can you explain hoisting with respect to let constant bar? The seventh one is like, can you tell me the difference, basic difference between a function expression and function declaration? So yeah, these are all basic questions of JavaScript. If you know JavaScript, like the basic questions, you will easily able to understand and tell this uh, to the interview. The eight, eight question was like, can you explain this keyword? Mm -hmm. Can you explain the, this keyword with respect to arrow functions and normal functions? So if you are on to JavaScript, you can uh, like expect this question in many interviews, like this keyword with the difference between in arrow functions and in normal functions. Now, the ninth question was like, uh, so actually ninth question, they gave me a like kind of program to do. So the input text is like search is it's like a camel case search box and key. You can see this search box key is camel case and the output is before every before every camel case or the capital letter, there should be a underscore appended to it. So this is something I did like 90% of the of the program. I did this one last last 10 person i was like stuck but the interviewer said that's okay i understood your logic so he moved on to me to the next question which was like remo remove duplicates from an array and count the number of duplicates so this is the last set of question like uh, within the coding question the ask is like remove duplicates in an array and count the number of duplicates the 11th one was based on javascript which is like what is event bubbling and how we can prevent it that's the 11th question 12th question was like, what is DOM and like how you can manipulate DOM. So that is also a question was tied to it. 13th question was again, a kind of coding question. You can say first interview asked me, what is the difference, be difference between throttling and debouncing? And he, he told me to explain both the concept and he told me to explicitly write a code, uh, where he wants to debounce a function. Let's say you write a function, some in like search keyword or something, and he wants me to debounce that function where the function will run after every five seconds. So there is that code I have written. Basically, I have practiced debounce and throttling, so I know how to use that. The 14th question was like, what is JSX and how browser understands JSX? This is a very common question within React. 15th question was like, uh, 
what is the use of dangerously set in our HTML and tell me some alternatives to it. And why do we use dangerously set uh, set in our HTML and tell me some alternatives of uh, using dangerously set in our HTML. 16th one, like what is virtual DOM and how it increases performance. You need to explain this. What are PO components? Again, it's straightforward. Uh, the 18th question was like, like why do we need keys in react so if you if you are rendering a list item in react or you are mapping over something which is dynamic okay so react doesn't even know where the positioning of the element is because it's all it's dynamic okay it's not present in your dom so so once it once you get the data from somewhere it dynamically loads up right so you need the key in react to uh, so that react can understand and identify this position within that list so that is why you basically use keys in react okay so this is a like i have given just a brief answer to it you can read uh, like more in detail with if you search it up on google so number 19 is like if you render a parent node does all of his child re-render which is yes uh, 20th questions is like can you tell me how you plan uh, like uh, can you tell me how how you can plan the design architecture so it's like um, let's say he told me like let's say you have an application okay you have an application like front-end application and you you are required to let's say you have the application running on web mobile as well as well as web so you need to design some architecture where 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 the application will be basically running same like like if a if a user is coming to the website then he or she should feel that both the website, whether he's looking on your phone or on desktop, it should look similar. So you need to have a design pattern or a design architecture for the front end to even do that. So where, where your fonts, where your colors, where your text should be similar so that you can reuse throughout your application. So basically he was asking me about design architecture a bit. Now, again, a 21th question was like, uh, name some hooks. I basically told whatever hooks I know, explained it to him. And what is the uses of RAF? He was explicitly asking me, why do you need to use RAF? So yeah, what is the uses of RAF? 22nd question was like, what is the difference between Next.js and React.js? So basically they were hiring for product engineering team. So they were asking questions on Next.js also because I do have prior experience on Next.js. So he was asking me, what is the difference between Next.js and React.js? Number 23rd was what are the different types of rendering in Next.js? So Next.js provides kind of a different types of rendering. You can so see one is static, one is uh, incremental site regeneration, one is like you can get server side generation. So there are few different types of techniques of rendering in Next.js. So I explain it to him. Like, and the last question I believe is the higher order components. So he told me to explain higher order components by writing an example. So yes, and how, where we, like I have used higher order components or not and where the higher order component is very much usable. So this was the last question for like the technical round, which was like for one hour. So in this video, I, I am keeping it short. I'm just sharing the technical questions. I have not shared the techno managerial question. If you feel that you, you want to know more about the techno managerial question as well, do comment down below. I'll put a second part to it and share the techno managerial question as well. Uh, you can practice all this question for your interviews, not only LTI, wherever you are applying, you can check back my previous videos and the previous questions. You will get a ton of resources and like ton of example questions that you may get asked on your next interview. If you like this video, do share, subscribe to this channel for more updates like this and questions like this. And I'll be bringing a lot of contents more. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.